Hi everybody, welcome to Mark's Backyard Birds. A little biology type lesson today. Uh, we're talking about the, the, the ability to fly. Uh, I think I titled it, uh, Birds Can Fly, Why Can't I? And, and I think you know, there have been many people over the years who have tried to make wings out of wood or boards and different materials, cover them with feathers, strap them on and jump off of their roof. Uh, they don't fly. And as and of course the evolution of flight and airplanes and 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 of course engineering and everything use birds as models and to learn how to uh, make flight possible with man, but ourselves uh, I, 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 we can't fly and there are very 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 few animals uh, on the planet that can fly uh, and they all have special adaptations to make that possible. Birds are. Uh, the uh, kind of the epitome of that, of course, I'm, I'm a little biased, but uh, so I thought I would tell you a little bit about the biology of birds and what enables them to fly. So uh, first and foremost, of course, the power of flight would not be possible without feathers. Uh, the, the feathers are amazing structures. Uh, and, and of course, now we know bats can fly and they don't have feathers and insects can fly. Uh, but for birds, uh, the Fly is possible mainly because of their feathers. The feathers do everything for them. They keep them warm. They uh, keep them contoured and slick and uh, cut the wind very well. They're shaped so that they automatically generate lift. Uh, most of the feathers are, are, are specialized for that, especially the wing feathers. And there's lots of different kinds of feathers. And I'll put a link into my program on nothing but feathers so you can learn about all the different types of feathers. But so does that mean, again, I said at the beginning, you, you can't just strap on a bunch of feathers and then flap your arms and you'll fly. So no, no. So if, uh, that is not alone enough for birds to be able to fly is just because they have feathers. They have many, many adaptations uh, in addition to that. And one of the first ones that we're going to talk about is the, re the reduction of weight. In other words, they have to be extremely light to be able to fly. Uh, and of course, I would, you know, I, even if I went on a real serious diet, I, I couldn't get down to that kind of weight. But there's a lot of weight reduction in in birds. And the first and four that we talk about are, are the, what they don't have. They, the, they have eliminated, uh, we, they only have one kidney. Uh, they only have one ovary. Uh, they have fused bones and they're less bones, uh, than we do or, or mammals do. And a lot of that has come in the skeleton. Let's go ahead and put this up there. Uh, the, this skeleton is in the hip area, the hand area, and the feet area has far fewer bones, and those bones have fused together to make them a more lightweight. So less bones is a lighter structure. Also, those bones are incredibly specialized. They have what are known as hollow bones, which are exactly what you think they are, where a lot of bones uh, that we have are, are, are solid, or and they have marrow in the middle, and they're very uh, uh, they're heavy. Bones are heavy. So they, uh, the hollow bones of a bird, which are still very, very strong structures, and they do have a certain amount of flexibility to them, but they're much lighter because of those hollow bones. That is an incredible adaptation. And I've got, uh, I've done a whole video on, I'll put a link to that, to why don't birds have teeth? Um, and, and, you know, they have bills, like they get specialized for their lifestyle. So teeth were lost in birds millions of years ago. They have uh, the, the specialized bills for their lifestyle. This is a hawk, a bird of prey, who has that hook at the end for uh, tearing meat with, because he doesn't, of course, have hands to, to hold forks and knives and things like that. But also, like in this chicken skeleton, you have uh, a... a Big a bill adapted for picking up seed. Hummingbirds have a long bill for sticking into flowers where they can dart their tongue to get nectar. So bills uh, eliminate the need for teeth. The teeth evolve with bills, losing the teeth. So I tell the kids in the nature center world that if birds had teeth, they'd have to fly like this with their head down because they'd be so heavy. So weight reduction is super important. Uh, the, you know, the, uh, and, and they, I said that they only have one kidney. They actually have no bladder whatsoever. 
I would tell the kids, birds don't do number one and number two. They kind of do one and a half. And that is uh, uh, they get, get rid of the excess uh, liquid and, uh, and, and poop feces in the same place, the same time. Uh, it's called, you know, we call it whitewash. Um, and it uh, is a mixture of the uric acid and the feces in the bird. So they, that reduces weight as well by not having a bladder, only having one kidney, one ovary, fuse bones, just incredible uh, adaptations for flight. Now, the other part of this is they, uh, with, with all this weight reduction, is they have the centralization of weight. In other words, the, for them to be able to fly, all that weight is very much down the center of the body. That's where everything's concentrated, very light uh, everywhere else. And so that when they have these very strong muscular wings and on the skeleton, I want you to notice the breastbone right down the center here. Uh, and that's where the, the, the power muscles are attached to, the flight muscles that enable them to pull down their wings, go back up and pull in and, and re reach flight and fly. You know, of course, in the chicken world, they don't fly very much, but they still have those muscles. That's that white meat in the chicken breast that everybody likes to eat. Um, and wild birds that do fly a lot, that that meat is very dark, very gamey, because the the more activity in the in the working of those muscles makes it harder, makes it darker and more blood flow to it. So it's a, a they call it gamey, if you will, uh, for eating things like dove and, and, and the birds that fly more than chickens do. So that's a little, the culinary part of the, why well, there's light meat and dark meat. And uh, uh, where the muscles are used, Grant, chickens have dark meat in their legs because they use their legs more than they do their, their flight muscles. So, uh, but they have to be reduced in weight. Um, they also, and you can notice on the skeleton is this huge eye socket up here uh, that, you know, having good eyesight is incredibly important for birds because their uh, sinuses are, are uh, smell senses are very limited. And so uh, here on the, in front of the eyes where, you know, our nose is, but you don't see that external nose. You don't see a big uh, a, a proboscis, if you would, the, the kind of that nose sticking out there. So, they uh, they have reduced uh, the sinus and reduced smell capability, but they have great eyesight capability. So they've evolved to to live their lifestyle and with the with the adaptations that are best for them. So feathers, reduction of weight, centralization of weight, very strong uh, structures. Period, and you get flight. And if we, uh, unfortunately for us, we can't get there, but we can ride an airplane. So that's a, a good thing for us. So it's an interesting topic. You know, uh, people ask about it all the time. Um, there, it isn't as just as simple as they can uh, take off and fly. You know, they have to have those special adaptations. So. Thank good idea for a program. Thanks for that. Give us a like. Give us a share. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe. Um, until then, come by and let's talk birds.